In this week's Bleach, the Gote 13 feels pretty miserable. You okay? Nah, man. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my episode reviews for Bleach. Jumping right into episode 4, Kill the Shadow, the Sternwitters make quick work of the fodder Shinigami as they manage to kill 1,000 of them in their short amount of time present. Kajo Maru, or Aizen Jr. as I like to call him, attempts to stand up to a Quincy and makes quite the effort. <laughs> We then begin to shift around some of the captains and their opponents, seeing Rose against Sternritter Yu, <laughs> Komamura and Bambietta, Hitsugaya and Kang Du, Soifon and the Terminator, and finally Renji and Byakuya versus Nightmare Fuel. Each of them goes through their own issues thanks to the powers of the Sternritters, including being unable to pierce their skin with their blades. Meanwhile, Mayuri is analyzing Chojiro's Zanpak to determine what exactly the Sternritters did to his Bankai. Several captains are about to find out firsthand as they realize that these are battles that can't be won without Bankai. They figure they can beat them before their Bankais are sealed, or they can figure out how to break the seal. Not a great plan. Byakuya, Hitsugaya, Komamura, and Soifan release their Bankai in magnificent fashion. Thank you, animation team, but they begin to disintegrate as the Sternritters absorb the Bankai. Everyone comes to the stunning realization that they don't seal, but steal Bankai. Oh! <gasps> That's my third monocle this week. I simply must stop being so horrified. Hitsugaya really takes it the hardest as he calls to his Zanpakuto but gets no response at all. Shorimaru! Shorimaru! My name is Voight, dumbass. He orders Rangiku to inform everybody to refrain from using Bankai as it will be stolen. Shunsui has his own issues, though, getting his eyes shot out by Robert. Yes, anime onlys, that is his name. The frustration builds around Soul Society to the point where Akon decides to call Ichigo for help. You've reached the voice now, uh... I don't understand. Why, why do you want me to say my name? Kurge has been out of shape because he can't steal Ichigo's Bankai and is getting absolutely manhandled. He even gets pissed off at the notion of the Quincy being scared of Bankai, giving Urahara an opening to deal what he says is a fatal blow. He instructs Ichigo to get to Soul Society immediately, while Akon informs him of the brutal invasion transpiring, including the fact that four captains have had their Bankai stolen. Just as Ichigo reaches the gate to the Seireite, <laughs> Oh, we were right there, man! Kurge, still alive, gravely injures Urahara, Chad, and Orihime, and seals Ichigo in a prison, preventing him from reaching Soul Society. My thoughts on Episode 4. This is probably my favorite episode so far. There's been a lot of build-up, and we're getting the payoff of how serious this war is gonna be. Powerful enemies, high stakes, and a ton of destruction. It does a great job of making the situation seem absolutely hopeless. Sounds morbid to say that I enjoy that, but this is the final arc. This is war. I want the sense that nobody is safe and our protagonists have to rise above this power that is well above what they're used to. Even at the end when you think, yeah, Ichigo is coming to save the day, he gets locked away. Despair is setting in with little light at the end of that tunnel. The Bankai animations were super clean, keeping up the high quality of the adaptation. Senbon Zakura and Hyorin Maru looked beautiful, making it that much harder to watch them be stolen. Seeing Byakuya, the calm and collected squad captain, be overcome by sheer panic and Hitsugaya crying out for his companion is fairly rough. Finally, they did justice to two of my favorite Stern Ritters, Asnot and Bambietta. No shame in admitting that I think Asnot is one of the scariest villains in the series. He didn't get any lines, but his look, demeanor, and screams of his victims was frightening. Can't wait to hear him though, because his VA is the same one behind Inosuke from Demon Slayer and Soma from Food Wars. I'm also very happy with Bambietta's voice actor. Totally what I expected her to sound like. Really can't wait to see more of her in explosive action. So yeah, awesome episode. Some good action, gorgeous animation, feeling of utter despair and intros to various Stern Ritters. But let me know what you guys think. How are we digging this new vibe? Favorite comments will be featured in the next review. Here are last week's winners. Well, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Twitter and Instagram. Links to those can be found in the description. I'll be back on time next week with Episode 5, Wrath as a Lightning. Until then, peace.